Right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Uh, let's see, I don't know if I'm seeing you or not, but I've got this uh, SG Junior style guitar. Try and get some decent photos of it. It's got a really, really pretty fretboard on it. Um, two piece solid wood body. Uh, definitely not a laminate, as you can tell by the edges, all that kind of stuff. I don't know why somebody asked me that, but um, anyway, the pictures, some of the pictures don't show quite the the real nice figuring and, and wood grain in the neck, but that's that's all right. Uh, wrap around intonatable bridge, got pretty darn good action on it, really. Of course, uh, had to make some adjustments to it, obviously. It uh, could go a little lower if you wanted it to. Uh, but with these wraparound tail pieces with the intonatal bridge, man, unless you get a low profile one, spend 150 bucks on it, it's not going to be, uh, it's not going to happen for you. Uh, tuners are good. Looks like they're chrome. I mean, they, they work pretty well. So looks like one of these is a squire. Might be smaller. One of these has a smaller head on it because it's a squire. Oh well, uh, works good. Uh, anyway, <clears throat> today I don't have my normal single 12. I'm running through a, a PVPA speaker. Uh, Marshall Hayes 15 uh, settings are all at, uh, well they should be all at 3 o'clock. Yeah, uh, on your bass treble and our bass mid and treble. So I've got uh, two channels, clean and dirty. Um, I've also got a boost down here, and it's a, a Klon style uh, gold. It's kind of old as dirt. It's made in the late 90s, early 2000s, uh, probably early 2000s. And it is a uh, gain set about uh, from zero to about nine o'clock, treble about one o'clock, and the output is about about 10 o'clock. So uh, anyway, I'm uh, going to do some clean sounds, overdriven, drive channel, which is still the drive is only set on three, um, and then we'll boost it again on the drive channel just to give you some, some sounds here. I got a little bit of reverb going on.
Again, that was the uh, volume on. <laughs> sounds good but it doesn't quite have the punch that uh, that, that other speaker would give it so uh, I'm gonna go ahead and turn this over to the drive channel
tube amp. Probably not a good idea. a decent cab, run it through a decent speaker, uh, probably sound pretty good. Uh, but it's very nice. It's got really nice wood grain figure in it. Um, it's two, again, a two-piece solid body. Um, probably never do one of these again, only because the facets are so hard, guys, to get smooth and clean and sharp. Um, man, is it rough to do that. It's not rough, it's very smooth, very good finish on it. It's just hard to do. It's hard to do, it's hard to do. Um, so not my bag, I'll probably stick with single. I mean, I love to be able to access the frets. You know, the accessibility of the neck. If I can hit the right string. Just not my, uh, just all the facets to clean and sharpen all these edges. And it does kind of have a relic to finish on it a little bit, which means it's I intentionally kept it, you know, noticeable where you could see all the all the lines and the edges. It's got some pink and purple and and maroon and brown and black hues in it um, as far as as far as the finish goes. I don't know why I left the headstock or did the headstock in a dark gray. I, I was kind of going. I was kind of wanting it black, but and then I liked the gray, and then whatever. Vintage 70s knobs, uh, pickup is about 11 point something K, 500 K pots in it. Uh, it's a good guitar, it's a great guitar. For, I, here's the thing, here's what I do. I try and put together really decent guitars that play really well, have really good action, and sound good, and look really stunning for a low price. The reason I do that is when I first got my guitar, when I was younger and then never learned to play it, uh, when I couldn't even tune it, but the, the main thing was the action was garbage. Um, you know, they sounded like crap. They had, and so I learned a lot of bad habits, a lot of bad habits that are hard to break. But if you, um, you know, have a decent playing guitar where you don't even need to use it, you know, a pick. <laughs> then um, it's just so much easier to, to learn good habits. You don't have to play as hard. You don't have to work as hard at getting what you need out of it. And so that's why I do what I do. Um, to give somebody a really decent, good quality instrument for a low price. 
Um, now some of these are going to start going up in price as depending on, on what they are, you know, I've got uh, some tellies I'm working on right now and the components and everything in those are, are premier. They're, they're not, you know, I'm, I'm going with, you know, much higher end stuff, the wood's higher quality, you know, I mean, all that kind of stuff. So, um, and yeah, I'll be asking more for it, but will they be amazing guitars? Absolutely, they'll be amazing guitars. So everything's a chunk of wood when it starts out. It, it depends on what you do with that wood. And then, and then what you do with the bits and pieces that pull it together. Um, everything is about all it's made up of. Like I said, this doesn't even sound right without the cab that I normally use. So um, from your fingers all the way through the sound coming out of the speaker, it's, it, it's about all the components coming together as one. So um, I, I thank everybody for their views, even though they're minimal. Um, I mainly use, do these to sell the guitars and uh, other items. Uh, Reverb, eBay, check it out, and uh, uh, YouTube, I don't even know what it is. Um, anyway, I, I do these just, just to give some demonstration so you know what you're getting before you spend your money on it. Again, I, would, I want that for you as much as uh, you need it for yourselves, so it's a fair, it's a fair trade. Um, anyway, uh, this is it on this. Um, I thank you so much, and uh, take care, God bless, and have fun.